got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Revelations 14 and 1. And I look and lo, a lamb. Who's a lamb? You know who that lamb is? Uh, Jesus. Yeah, you're right. Yahweh Shai. Say Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yeah, how shot. That's who it is. Okay, cut. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. When you see that word Zion, it's talking about these people here. Israel. Even though Zion is a place, it's called a monument, it's talking about, it's synonymous with these people. Zion is Israel. The Israelites are known as Zion in the Bible also. Zion. And with him, a hundred and forty-four thousand having their father's name written in their foreheads. Meaning what? Is they gonna have a marker and they gonna write your how about sitting on their forehead? Oh, no, okay. his essence, his will, his word, his, his total embodiment is in their minds, right? Uh, it, it, is that the name, the name. That name, Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai. It's going to be the whole embodiment of what he stands for is going to be in our in our, in our our mind, right? Yeah. That's right. it. And it says... Uh, so not everybody going to know the name. No, not everybody going to know. Uh, Go to Revelation 7. You got 7? Go to 7. Check this out. You saw that 144,000, right? Yeah. All right, go to seven. Okay, I, I got it for seven. Let's see. Uh, it says Revelation seven and one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. They holding the destruction, right? Yeah. That the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor of any tree. Right? Yeah. That nuclear judgment. They're holding back the judgment, the angels. Right? He said, he said that the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Right? Yeah. And it says, uh, uh, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it is given to hurt the earth and the sea, right? And it says, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power, Yahweh, in their foreheads. So they have sealed that name, right? And they have came out, they have preached the gospel, right? Maintained in the scriptures, right? Maintained the, the, the will of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, right? And I heard a number of them which was sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So that 144,000 is coming from what? It said all the tribes of Israel. So if it's 12 tribes and 144,000, how many men out of each tribe is gonna be, is gonna be uh, uh, basically like preachers of, of men of the Lord preaching? 12 what? 12,000. 12,000. Come on. Right? See, see how your math has improved. <laughs> yeah. Your math has improved, Grasshopper. Yeah, ain't that good, man. Right? It says, <laughs> of the tribe of Judah, right? You see Judah on that sign? Yeah. Was sealed 12,000. So you're right on that. Your math has improved greatly. <laughs> of the tribe of Reuben, were sealed 12,000. And the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Naphtali was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Zebulun was sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000. Joseph being synonymous with Manasseh, right, and Ephraim. Yeah. The tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. And after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all the nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes with palms in their hand. When you go into that word palms, it goes into victory. 
the great multitude that no man could number out of all the nations because we were scattered everywhere. Right? We were scattered everywhere. And that great, that multitude is what? That's the one third. Remember I showed you on the uh, sign? Yeah. The 33%. That's the great multitude out of all the nations that's gonna be saved. And 144,000 is in that, in that, in that 33%. Right? Yeah. It's in that, man. So that's why the Lord deal with small numbers. 144,000 men. Gonna be the leaders, gonna be the leaders of the next when the Lord destroyed this place with thermonuclear destruction, they gonna be the leaders. Like you have the senators and governors and all that right now. These men are gonna be the leaders, man. Hey man, I pray and hope, man. Hey, you keep reading, brother. Just keep reading, man. And uh when we get done, man, I can give you I can give you some videos to look at. I'm gonna give you the name of uh, some videos, like who I watch, man. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, I'm gonna get that to you, man. And man, Lord willing, you can keep reading, brother. Cause I hope, I hope, like I'm, I hope I'm part of that number two. Just like it's brothers all around the world preaching this, this out now, man. Cause we know the time is it's ended. We know we're finna go into martial law. We're finna go into the nursing this microchip. People already got it. When you see people going by cranking their car by putting their hand up against the window. And all that's a microchip going in their house and just putting their hand up against the door. That technology is, 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 is Esau is like 70 years ahead of technology. So they, they've been at the chip. You know, it's just prophecy. They got to, when the Lord put the, when the Lord make the so-called white man bring it out, as a whole, he's going to bring it out. And that's his destruction, the thermonuclear missile. Scientists created those, man. The, the, the Germans. Yeah. The men are teaming in the Bible, what is it called? So, wait, man, when the Lord put that spirit on these, these so-called white men to go against each other from Russia and America and different countries like Iran and Great Britain and China and Korea, when they go, when they go against America, young bro, they're going to destroy this whole place, man. America going to be shooting at them, but everybody going to be shooting at this place. So that's why it's important, man, you come you read these scriptures like, like the scripture said in Proverbs. This name is a shield, man. These words are a shield unto you, man. Right? It's a shield, man. It's a protection. People be like, how you gonna be protected reading words? You're gonna see in the end. <laughs> if you don't read them, you're gonna see, you're gonna see fire hitting you right in your face, and you're gonna feel everything, every sin you ever committed, you're gonna feel it in that particular time. The Lord gonna freeze time on you like he did in the book of Joshua. He froze time. He gonna freeze it again. When the business hit, you ever watch the movie Terminator? You remember when the when the white woman was on the fence and the and bomb hit her and it blew her yeah. blew her uh, skin right off? Yeah. Hey man, it talks about that in the book of uh, uh, Zechariah, the twelfth chapter. You didn't know that? Get get Zechariah. They get that. Zechariah, you know, right there where your Malachi was, right? Where your Matthew was? That separation of that New and Old Testament. Zechariah. Nah, go back. Go back to the other side. Zephaniah. Zechariah is like two books from there. Like, should be right in there. What you at now? Matthew. Nah, you too far. It's, just, it's, it's right at the end of the... Zephaniah and Zechariah right, is right together. It's, it's one book separate them two. Malachi. No, Malachi is the last book of the Old Testament. Zechariah is the book right before it. It ain't nothing you'll learn, man. You keep reading. Look at them table of contents, man. Study that, because that's how you're going to know. And you know what you do? Here you, here you. No, no, you there. You right there. You open the book. Open it up. You right there. Where you at? What's that book say right there? No, that's a Go back. Go go now. Go go that way. No, that way. Go, yeah. Do it one at a time, because you do it with your thumb, you're going to skip right over there every time. Okay. Bam. Now, I'm going to give you a trick. I'm going to give you a little trick. If you're going to look at the table of contents, this is what you do. In your table of contents, right, it gives you the page number where that book is. Got it? You'll see that page number. Now, if you're really serious about learning the scriptures, guess what? They have a little thing called... Uh, tags you can put on the outside of that, that page and you can put Zephaniah on the tag that way when you call for a book you just look at the tag yeah I'm happy to get that. see that but see this Bible I got they got the tags already on them yeah. see 
You got them too. Yeah, hey, I, just man, come on, I just don't know. <laughs> you gotta look at them tags, man. <laughs> there you go. There you, you learning though. That's hey, man. It's, hey, you know, you ain't know. You learning. All you do is look at them tags. You'll see that name. You go there. That's it. You got it. I mean, hey, man. It's, hey, you know, it's what it is, man. Yeah, I, I read the Bible. But I don't know how. Yeah, to yeah. It's it's uh. Hey, you, 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 you all right, man? As long as you, as long as you keep reading. Hey, you keep reading, man. Know that name, you how about shine you And you ask him to give you more wisdom and knowledge, guess what? He's gonna give it to you. You know? Yeah, you'll come out here, hey, you keep reading, you you might, you might, one day you're gonna wake up, you're gonna know where every book is by heart. I hope so. Hey brother, that's how it is, man. You know? I hope so. Uh check this out. Zachariah. No, go to 14, chapter 14. A, my bad. Go to 14. Is that familiar? Matter of fact, let me, uh, it's probably finna cut out. 14, chapter 14. I don't get no, uh, You got chapter 14. Yeah, I Turn, that's four. Yeah, I don't know That's Zephaniah. What? You ain't in Zechariah, it's Zephaniah. Let me see it. Open it up. No, just open it up, open it up, open it up. I know you wanna go to. You and Haggai go over one book. Just go over one book. You go over one or two books. You and Zechariah. Okay, that's. <laughs> you and Zephaniah. Zephaniah yeah. only three chapters. You go to chapter 14. Let me show you something. Yeah, I was confused a little bit. Hey, man, it's all good, man. You know, that's, that's, hey, just, hey, ask the Lord to give you wisdom and, and knowledge, man. Don't pray for no, no more. Girls or a car, pray for wisdom and knowledge, <laughs> like Solomon did. And all that begin with Zephaniah 14, verse 12. It says, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So everybody who came against us, he gonna bring missiles, the thermonuclear destruction. These missiles gonna destroy everybody. Then it says, Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths, man. So it's telling you that their eyes gonna melt and their tongues gonna cleave to the top. They gonna, the skin gonna come off their bones, man. Why they standing? Why they standing? Yeah. You know, and that's that's the scriptures, you know? Yeah, that's, that's something. It's talking, it's, it's crazy how it talks about the missiles and stuff. No, no, no. We know now. They prophesied what they saw, what visions the Lord gave them. Ah, the and, and yeah, we know now. Yeah. You know. So, uh, let me let me. Uh, time is almost out. It's 13 minutes. As a matter of fact, I can change. Let me change this out. Cause you had asked me a question when you got here about the slavery, so I'm gonna answer. Let me close this.